So if um, graduate students start off without uh, learning how the, the data work and actually getting, a, getting their hands in and sort of mucking around with it, they don't really get a good sense of what the interesting questions are that you can answer with it. Um, and without the interesting questions in mind, they tend to go off in bad directions. So I think by the time they're getting to be a third or a fourth year in the program, they're working on their own projects. If they've seen sort of up close somebody else's project from the inside, they they were part of it. Um, they have a better sense of you know what constitutes a good research question. You know where do you cut corners? Where do you make assumptions? Where do you draw the line and not cut corners? You know where do you say this has got to work or we're not going forward? Um, they learn the research process that way, and uh, you know sometimes the initial phases of learning that are kind of unpleasant. I've you know, forced my grad students to uh, dig through massive data sets on weekends for me when they'd rather be out, I'm sure, doing something else, um, you know, and to create new data sets for me to analyze, things like that. But now I see them two, three years into that process, and they know exactly what to do when they have to do this for their own project, you know. And, um, and so far, this model, I think, has worked pretty well in terms of putting people through in a timely fashion and, uh, and having them be successful getting, getting employment. Um, and frequently they get publications before they leave here as well. 